Hello everyone, please welcome and join me Easy Steps Cooking. Today I'm going to share with you a butter chicken. I'm going to use a chicken drumsticks and I'm going to share with you how to make delicious mouth-watering butter chicken. Let's start it with the ingredients. I'm going to use uh, chicken drumsticks. They are 5 pounds. I'm going to take the skin off and I'm going to do the marination of chicken first. I'm going to use uh, 1 tablespoon of each garlic and ginger paste, grinder powder, red chili powder, salt and a half cup of oil. After marinating the chicken, we're going to saute our chicken in oil. For our tarka, I'm going to use uh, 2 large size onion and cut into slices and 4 medium size uh, tomatoes cut into small chunks. 1 tablespoon each garlic ginger paste. When it comes to butter chicken, the butter is really important and again it will be optional if you are health conscious wise use less butter or don't use it at all i'm going to use unsalted butter one stick it will be eight tablespoon half cup of cashews one tablespoon each brown sugar garam masala cumin seed jeera salt grinder powder, 5 green chilies and deggy milk. 1 tablespoon of each uh, tomato ketchup. If you haven't tried it, please try it. It will bring the taste and texture to our gravy. Kasuri methi, 1 tablespoon. 1 cup heavy whipping cream. If we need a thick gravy, we don't need to use a water. If we need to make our gravy, then we are going to use a water. So it's uh, according to our needs. I've taken out the skin and I make some cuts into the chicken and the grinder powder and red chili powder, salt, now ginger garlic paste, what we're gonna do, we're going to just basically use our hands and mix it really well. Once it's fully marinated, we're going to let it sit on the counter for 10 to 15 minutes. Get a big fry, start a gas, bring olive oil. Chicken has been marinated for 15 minutes, I'll bring it to the kadai. We're going to saute our chicken. Within 10 minutes, our chicken will be cooked and we don't want it to cook our chicken fully, 100%. We want it to cook it like 75 to 80%. Keep moving the chicken so it won't get burned. Saute our chicken. So 10 minutes chicken is uh, pretty much cooked and now I'm going to take this one out we don't want to cook our chicken fully this is a perfect rest we're going to cook it with the gravy I will bring ginger garlic I'm going to use the same kadai. This is really important that uh, you should use the same kadai because uh, whatever the chicken is burned at the bottom, that's all the juice gonna come out and the gravy is gonna taste really good. I'll add the butter. This is strictly optional, but if you want a butter chicken, then you have to have a buttery taste. I'll bring onions. As the onions going to start releasing this juice, our kadai is going to get more cleaner. All the burnt chicken on the side will come out. I'll bring cumin seed, salt and grinder powder. Mix it. Cooking our onion for 5 minutes. I'll bring tomatoes, green chili and deggy mirch, cashews. You always can add uh, almonds if you like. Mix it. I'll add a half cup of water. Mix it. As you see with the water, the pot start to clean up and that's all the chicken juice coming into our gravy. Our kadai is looking nice and clean. I'm going to put the lid and we'll cook it for 5 minutes so the tomatoes can cook well and then we're going to make a gravy. Cooking our tarka for 5 minutes with the cover lid. It's looking real nice. I'll add brown sugar and ketchup. Mix it. Bring your gas to low and I'm going to use a hand blender and I'm going to make it a nice smooth gravy. It doesn't take that long. 
Let's take a couple minutes and look at how beautiful this nice smooth gravy. I'll bring one cup of water. Bring your gas to high and we're going to cook it. This is a perfect as we added a half cup before and one cup now. Now we'll bring a chicken. Mix it well. When you eat chicken at a restaurant, they always uh, use uh, tandoori chicken into their butter chicken and uh, it gives you a red looking butter chicken. You can keep as is. If you want to add, you can add little amount of color. It's a red orange color. And as I'm going to mix it, it's going to change the total outlook of uh, gravy. So once it's uh, fully mixed, we're going to cover the lid, bring your gas to medium high and uh, we're going to cook it good 15 minutes. After 10 minutes, I'm going to check it out and uh, you stir occasionally so I won't get burned at the bottom. Our chicken is cooking for 15 minutes with the closed lid with medium heat. It smells so good. The chicken is fully cooked. Now I will bring heavy cream. Mix it. The gravy looks perfect. Now bring your gas to medium low. I will bring garam masala and kusuri methi. Put it on your uh, palm and you rub it. The whole reason to do this, if there is a big solid strand, so you can take it out. Mix it. Mmm, smells so good. Nice aroma. Our butter chicken is all ready. If you wanted to really enjoy it after adding kasuri methi, garam masala and the cream, simmer it for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, I'll dish out. Another 10 minutes of cooking. Our butter chicken is all ready. It's very delicious. Nice aroma in here. Turn your gas off and uh, look at how perfect is the gravy. And I'm going to dish out. Perfect. And the chicken drumsticks. Our butter chicken is ready and you always can top off with a little bit heavy cream or a little bit more butter. You always can serve with roti, naan or even rice. And I hope you like the butter chicken. It's a chicken drumsticks. It's very tasty and very delicious and I hope you like it. And if you like it, please try it. And please don't forget to like and subscribe Easy Steps Cooking. Thank you. Bye-bye.